Hello, hello. Today's video is answering the question that everyone who comes to me for SEO support asks at some point, which is, how do I know what position I'm ranking in? Uh, and I've had people come to me after we work on SEO together, whether it's in the Attract and Activate membership or some of my one-to-one -one clients, and say, but I just searched the term that I want to rank for and I'm not ranking yet. So what the hell, Meg? And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. That's not how we test that. Because what shows up in the search engine results page is changing all the time. And because you already have your site, you own your Google Search Console, your results are going to look different than people who don't own your site. They're going to look different if you're a local business based on where you're searching from. They're going to look different based on the, uh, the, language that your audience is speaking. So we cannot just go to Google and scroll through until we see ourselves because legitimately you can jump 10 or 20 positions in a day and really be moving around quite a bit. So what we want to look at instead of having that split second, where am I now as your data source, we want to use Google Search Console to give us a kind of a rolling average of over the past three months, six months, two days, whatever that time period is, what is the average position that I've been in for every page, for every keyword, for every country? There's so much information that's in here. So let me show that to you now. There we go. Here I am. Um, you guys remember I just submitted my sitemap and now today we're going to go over to the performance report. So you can either click here to get there from your uh, overview or you can click here for the performance report. Same report wherever you go from. Um, I'm going to show you what these blue and uh, purple numbers are tomorrow, but or in the next video, I guess, technically. Uh, but what I want you to look at now is to press this button. It doesn't look like a button. I hate the usability of this. It's not obvious that this is a button, but I'm telling you, here's a button, right? And it's going to turn orange when you press it. And this orange information is what we're looking for in this video. Then we'll add in these tomorrow. Uh, so what is this information? This is the average position that your website is in for every keyword that you are ranking for in like the top 200 search results for every keyword, um, depending on how long you've been blogging and how many pieces of content you have on your site and how optimized they are. You probably have, you know, this is telling me that I have thousands of keywords that are showing up, about a thousand for my website. Um, and it's also telling me that there are some terms that on average over the past three months, I rank number one for. So I am proud to say that I rank for my name. Yay! I rank for my business name. Hooray! And then I don't rank number one for most other things. <laughs> right? And that's okay. And sometimes people won't even rank number one for their names if they have common names. That's okay too. Um, I've had clients who say, well, I just Googled my business name and all that shows up are the press releases. Yeah, Google doesn't know you yet. You haven't owned your domain authority yet, but you're going to rise up over time. The day that you launch your domain, you're probably not gonna rank for your business name, but you will over time. So this is something that you can watch. Now, if you look at some of these other queries, things like creativity is the way I share my soul with the world. It's a Brene Brown quote that I wrote about, in, I don't know, 2017, still show up for it. <laughs> That's the great thing about our content is that you can show up for it for years and years and years after you create it. Um, there are some that are more relevant to what I do now, podcast transcript SEO, I show up number five. And let's actually, let's take a look at that, right? So podcast transcript SEO, I show up number five, but then if you click on that keyword, it will tell you where you rank every day. And you'll see that this is like kind of jumpy and like spotty. And that's because it's not that common of a search term. People don't search for podcast transcript SEO every day. They searched for it on July 16th and they saw me in position four. They searched for it on the 22nd and they saw me in position five, four, five. Ooh, I was down to eight. I'm up to four. You know, so you can kind of see over time how your position might fluctuate even for the same keyword, the place that you're showing up in those search results is changing. And you can do that for any keyword, every, any query is what the, the thing calls it, right? I've, if I want to come down to Squarespace SEO tips, I rank 35, but there was a time, oh man, I used to rank 22 and I've been sliding down. So this is something where I'm like, 
oh, maybe I should go in and update that page in some way so that I can get back from being at number 40 where I am now back to being in position 22. Uh, so there may be some ways that I can change that page, update that page to reclaim some of that position to see if I can get back into the 20s instead of into the 40s. So your homework for today, for lack of a better term, is to go look at your search terms um, and to take a look at these positions. And like I said, we'll look at how many people are clicking and how many people are seeing them. But this can also be a really great way to just get an idea for what you're already ranking for. Um, one more thing I'll show you, although I'm already over five minutes. Oh, well, guys, I can't help myself. If you come to this little like hamburger menu over here, you can filter through these also. So you can say, I only want to see my keywords that are about Squarespace. And here's where I can see, oh, okay, I rank 36 for Squarespace SEO tips, but actually it's where, you know, 14 for Squarespace SEO tutorials, and then SEO for Squarespace, and SEO Squarespace, and Squarespace and SEO, and Squarespace versus WordPress, and how to add Google Analytics to Squarespace, and Squarespace SEO checklist, right? Like, these are all just we talked about, God, was it day three? We talked about how there are clusters of keywords and maybe there's only, you know, a hundred people a month who are looking for Squarespace SEO tips. But if you were to add up the number of people every day that search for all of these, then I have the opportunity to be found by thousands of people for that one blog post. Um, I have 144 keywords for just that one blog post, all about different ways of saying Squarespace SEO and some variations of it about WordPress or analytics or podcasts, you know, all these things that I love so much, how to change your meta description on Squarespace. I could write a whole blog post just on how to change your meta description on Squarespace. And instead of having that show up as 32, I might show up as number one for that because it's so, so, so specific. Here's another one, Squarespace meta description. So by coming in and taking a look at what is working for me, I'm able to come up with new ideas of content that I can be creating over time. So that is how you find your position using Google Search Console. And then I also kind of started to talk about what to do with this information, which I'm planning to talk about in two more videos. But <laughs> join me in the next video where I will be talking about your clicks and your impressions. I will see you there.